In my previous videos, I talked about Venn diagrams and sets. And there are some pretty neat things you can do with them. And first of those you know, neat things are unions. Okay, unions. Now, what comes to your mind when you hear the word union? I mean, it may be something like this, you know, people teaming up, or maybe something that starts with an S, all right? <clears throat> okay, in set theory, it's something like that, but of course, it's different, right? So let me give you an example with a Venn diagram, all right? Okay, let's take our previous example. Let's, you know, let this be the set of people who are smart, okay? Just like you. And let this, okay, another color. Okay, let this be the set of people who are handsome, just like me. <laughs> okay, now, if you take the values from both the sets and make a bigger set, okay, let me draw a rough boundary around it, okay, all right, okay, when you take values from both the sets and make a bigger set, you call that an union. That means in this particular union, you'll have the people who are both smart and handsome, and you and me. All right. Now you know, like it, it, it there may be more than two, you, more than two sets. Okay, you just just know that if you make a bigger set with all the you know smaller sets, it will be called an union. Okay. Now how do we denote an union? Okay, we use something like this, you know, this notation. We call this A union B. If you use LaTeX, right? LaTeX, and this is a, a language that we use to write math and research papers and stuff, we call this symbol a cup, right? We call that a cup. All right. Anyway, let me give you a more, I know, like numerical example of a union. All right. Uh, let set A be, you know, like set with one, two, three. All right, and let's take another color. Okay. Hmm. Let's take set B with three, four, and five. Now, I'll give you a moment to think about the union of both of these sets. Okay. What would that bigger set be? All right. I think you have <laughs> got the answer, but if you did not, I mean, the union of this set will be something like one, two, three, four, five. All right. You'll have values from both the sets, like one, two, three, we have one, two, three, and we have three, four, five, also three, four, five. Now, if you see that there are no duplicates, okay, there are two threes, okay. But if you, even if you have like two threes, okay, it would just be the same as one, two, three, four, and five. Because duplicates do not count. Okay. I may have left that point in my previous videos, but yeah, duplicates don't. Hey, no, duplicates don't count. Yes, duplicates don't count. All right. I mean, even if you re, you know, like put these elements in a different order, it would just be the same as this. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's it for unions. You know, for to revise that, it is it's just a you know bigger set with all the values from all the sets. All right. Okay.